Hello, welcome to the Friday, August 2nd, 2019 edition of the Sands and Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich, and today I'm recording from Boston, Massachusetts. I took a look at our honeypots uh, today and did a quick follow-up on port 9527. If you remember about a week ago, Kevin reported about this uptick in scans for port 34,567. Well, that was sort of uh, vulnerability related to network cameras. And I also noted that the same host that scanned 34567 did scan 9527 as well. Now, when I looked at some of the data collected from our honeypots, it looks like the port 9527 is essentially an unauthenticated shell. And this is somewhat confirmed by an article that one of our readers pointed to. Pentest Partners wrote about a shell that's being offered by some DVRs made by Xiaomi. And as Pentest Partners explains in their blog, this was actually after they finally disabled the Telnet server when they then started up this other, uh, well, sort of a Telnet server on port 9527. Now, the Pentest Partners report does mention some simple authentication, but it also mentions that the shell uh, being exposed here is fairly limited and just sufficient to start the actual Telnet server. And that's exactly actually the command that I observed. In our honeypots, the attacker used the connection to port 9527 to attempt to start a Telnet server on port 9000. So far, I haven't really observed any connections back to port 9000, but there's a lot of noise on that port because it's sometimes also used by web servers. So what I'm actually seeing hit port 9000 right now is mostly attacks against web applications running on that port. So what this really means to you if you are owning some of these video cameras that may be vulnerable, don't forget to include port 9527 in your port scans. You won't really get a prompt or anything like that. Uh, just uh, send uh, some little shell command like an ls or a cat on a file uh, to that particular port and see if you get anything back. And if you're relying on PowerShell Empire or Short Empire for your pen testing needs, maybe time to look for a new framework. Today, the main contributor to the Empire framework has announced that the project will no longer be supported. Now, one of the reasons being pointed out is that there are now a number of alternatives available that are more capable, most notably probably the offerings from Spectre Ops like Apple and Covenant. Of course, Empire is still open source, so there's still a chance that someone will just create a fork or take over the project. But in particular, given these other frameworks that are available, it may just be time to look for a new tool. And looks like with the recent rise in crypto coin prices that crypto jacking is sort of making a little bit a uh, comeback and Palo Alto's Unit 42 documented one of the recent groups launching these attacks. The group here is a Chinese-based group known as Rock, and it used to be more into ransomware, but lately branched out into crypto coin mining. One neat sort of little twist to their mode of operation is that they're downloading the malware from GitHub and Pastebin, probably to evade some detection. Now, like most crypto miners, they're also going after their competition by just killing respective processes. What I don't see so often, but apparently is done by this particular case of malware, it's also setting up firewall rules in order to prevent these competing products from communicating. 
One of the targets of this particular crypto jacking malware is cloud servers. That's actually sort of overall a trend here that a lot of cloud servers are being compromised in order to run coin miners on them, which of course can have a pretty significant financial impact on the owner of these respective virtual servers. Well, that's it for today. And uh, just as a reminder, if you like this podcast, uh, please uh, invite your friends to it, post on it on social media, or just uh, give it a good review in your favorite podcast hosting site. That's it. And thanks for listening and talk to you again on Monday. Bye.